Okay, so, um, I haven't been up long. I haven't gotten to wash my face or put my moisturizer on or anything like that. But I wanted to talk about uh, positivity versus negativity. Um, I don't know how many of you, like, actually enjoy spending time with people that are negative. Anybody? I don't. <laughs> and which is really funny because I actually uh, was a pretty negative person for a big part of my life. And for that big part of my life, my life was awful. And I didn't really notice. Oh, sorry. I didn't really notice, like, how bad my life was until after I made the change and really took a look at everything. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of always being negative and expecting the worst, why not try um, expecting the best and being prepared for the worst? Now, some people may be like, ah, that's not a way to look at it. But I would rather be prepared for something and not have to deal with it than not be prepared at all. So, no matter what situation life throws at you, you need to, um, um, you need to take every opportunity, oh, hang on a second. Okay, so, like I was saying, I try to take every situation thrown at me, and even if it's a, like, really bad situation, I try to find at least one thing positive or good and focus on that more so than, you know, oh, this is a horrible situation. I don't want to deal with this. You know, this sucks because I've been through life. I have survived a lot and I've came too far to allow, um, you know, just some bad problems, you know, get me down. And once I started looking more for the bright side in every situation or, you know, like the rainbow in every storm, my life started changing. I became happier. My kids became happier. People around me became happier, but at the same time, too, uh, in this change, I got rid of a lot of people in my life. Um, if you are constantly just a Debbie Downer, um, there's a few that I keep in my life just because I do care a lot about them. And I know that they have an in them to change. Not that I want to, not that I want them to change who they are, more so I just want them to... Um, I want them to, uh, be happier. I, I, want them to, I want them to be happy so I can be happy for them. And I kind of take it on myself to try to help them figure out what is good and what they need to focus on. Um, I don't like having to do that with everybody, but if it's somebody that I love and care about, I will. And part of, you know, that is... Everybody used to tell me all the time, negativity only breeds negativity. It's true. As soon as I cut all of that out of my life, almost instantly, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, I lost a lot of friends that I was close with at one point, but it was for my betterment. And that's okay. It is okay to put yourself first. In a lot of situations. In fact, you should come first in almost every situation unless you're a mother or you're married. In that case, your kids come first and, you know, you split 50-50 with your partner. At least that's how I like to do it. Um, but I just, I, I see so much negativity every day. And you know what? We live in a world that has went to shit pretty much. And, um, 
But there's still good things out there. And you know what's good out there? There's good people in this world still. There's still good people that are here to, you know, that, that get out and they do things for others. And they don't do it so they can flaunt and say, hey, look what I did. Like, they do it just because they want to. And, um, you know, that that's, um, to me, that's better than somebody that's going to do things just so they can say, hey, look what I did. You know, I deserve a cookie because I went out and did this. Like, I see it on social media a lot. People bragging about what they're going to do, what they went and did. Like, okay, I do a lot for people and... I've been involved with a lot of organizations and charities and stuff, but I, I don't talk about it. I don't brag about it because, you know, I don't want a pat on the back for it. Um, about the only thing that you'll ever hear me talk about is, um, the, uh, uh, Special Olympics and stuff like that. But, yeah, if... You have issues with um, constantly being negative. I promise once you flip that switch and start looking for the good in any, every single situation has something good in it. Everything. You can throw me a situation and I promise you I will find something good for you to focus on. Um, now, whether you do or not, that is up to you. But... Um, you know, that's how I changed my life, and that's how I changed my outlook on my life, and that's how, you know, I made the changes that I've made in my life. Why I'm a lot happier now. Um, I have less people around me. That's okay, because the people that are around me now are people that actually really care, and, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, saying something and then taking and twisting my words and running and telling somebody else just to start a bunch of drama and fights. Like, you know, I'm 36. I'm over that part of my life. <laughs> that should have ended, honestly, at high school, but a lot of us still have to learn. So, you know, I understand that. But, um, yeah, I, there's, there's a positive in everything. You just really, if you don't want to see it, you're not going to see it. But you have to want to see it. And the more that you start looking for it, you'll find it. And the more that you find it, you'll start focusing on it. And then you'll start seeing things change in your life. And that is what I want for everybody, especially people that I'm close to and that I love. And I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Um, I have another video that I'm going to do later about being yourself and not letting others, you know, try to tell you how you need to live your life. Um... And also about bullying. And I don't mean like... I think the term bully and bullying is way overused now. I think that people are starting to get more thin-skinned. And sometimes what they think is bull bullying is actually sometimes just people trying to have fun. Or... See what I'm trying to... What word am I looking for? Or they're trying to uh, joke with you. And you don't understand it or you think that it's mean or it's distasteful or whatever. And, I mean, that's fine. You, you can think that. and But the best way instead of getting upset about it is to talk to the person. And if they, you know, are serious with it, then that's when you stand up to them. But we'll cover that later. I promise. Um, I would like to see a bunch of people, you know, start taking the better road in life. And finding the rainbows instead of always complaining about the storms. As soon as you do that, I promise things will get better. Bye. I'm going to go wash my face and put some moisturizer on because I look busted.